Hi everyone, my name is Constance Raparadani. I will be presenting to you a study titled Evaluation of Factors Influencing Timed Artificial Insemination of Communal Cows in Limpopo Province, South Africa. Cattle production is an important livestock enterprise in South Africa, contributing 20 to 30 percent of the total agricultural output per annum. This production has the potential to alleviate household food insecurity since 60% of these cattle are kept under communal areas, but they have been reported to be unproductive. They contribute only 5% to South African GDP from beef. The production rates of these heads has been recorded to be 37% and declining. It has also been reported that there is a general shortage of good genetic materials in the communal cattle sector of South Africa. Innovative reproductive techniques referred to as assisted reproductive technologies or in short ARTs have been developed which can be used to address these problems. Ustra synchronization and artificial insemination are among the rarely used but vital practices for productive and profitable cattle farming and can assist in the drive to enhance cattle reproduction improvement programs. Therefore, the aim of this study was to assess the synchronization response conception and calving rate when implementing synchronization and timed artificial insemination in communal cattle heads. The influence of factors such as district age, parity, frame size, breed type, and body condition score were also evaluated. Materials and methods. Experimental sites and animals. The study was conducted at the Agricultural Research Council, Animal Production Institute, and the communal villages in the Limbogo province. In order to align the project with government strategies of introducing Nguni cattle genetic resources to communal farming sectors of the country, only Nguni cement was used in this project. And selection of cows. Farmer recipient cows were selected for participation according to number one, the contagious abortion results. The test was done in the field and body condition score on a scale of one to five cows that had a body condition score of above two were selected. Then parity, heifers were excluded from this study. Pregnancy status, the pregnancy status of the cows was confirmed by doing a pregnancy diagnosis using an ultrasound scanner and transrectal hand palpation. Only cows that were open were used in the study. Postpartum status, cows that had calved at least three months before were included in the study. Ustra synchronization, artificial insemination and pregnancy diagnosis. The selected cows went through a nine-day ustra synchronization program, which consisted of an, an intravaginal controlled internal drug release device, or in short, the CIDA, and a series of hormonal injections. The CIDA was removed on day eight, and heat observation was done using a cam. The patch was placed on the tail head of the cows, and it turns red when the cow has been mounted to the selling head. Timed artificial insemination was done at 36 and 48 hours after side removal using frozen thawed Nguni semen. The AI was done twice in order to increase the chances of conception. Pregnancy diagnosis was done 90 days following artificial insemination using a portable ultrasound scanner and also rectal hand palpation. Data on the number of cows that calved was collected one month following the expected calving date of the last AI group. Data analysis. Data for Ustra's response rate, conception, and calving were analyzed using logistic regression procedure of SARS version 9.2. The model was also used to determine the relationship between Ustra's response conception and calving with a set of explanatory variables. 
data was considered significant at a level of P is less than 0 0.05. Overall results of the study. In the current study, a total of 169 cows were selected from the villages. However, 29 of them were omitted from the study. Now, the reason for omission was that some of the cows missed Ustra synchronization injections. Some of them were removed on owner's request and some of them lost the cider before they ate. Overall, Ustra's response in this study was 75%, which was found to be better when compared to other studies. And this might be due to genetic differences, dairy in the other studies and beef cattle in this study. And also the inclusion of a cider in the present study and perhaps also environmental differences since the other studies were done in other countries. The overall conception was 41%. And this was found to be comparable to those obtained in some studies using indigenous village cows. However, they were lower than Cameroonian and Ethiopian studies, perhaps because of the way the AI was done since we used time artificial insemination in this study, whereas they inseminated using the AMPM rule where in a cow that is found to be on standing heat in the morning is inseminated that evening. It is also important to note that when using AI, the aim should be to obtain at least 40 to 60% conception. The overall calving in this study was 36%, which was found to be comparable to those obtained through natural breeding, which is 37% in 2004, 35% in 2013, and 27% in 2012. Table 1 shows the response to Ustra synchronization and timed artificial insemination among various factors investigated. Now, there was quantitative differences of response, conception, and calving for various levels of variables tested. For example, in the breed type, you can see that Brahman cow's calving rate was 32%, whereas 41% of bony cows calved. And also in the body frame, where small framed cows had higher response, conception, and calving when compared to medium framed cows. And you can see here that there was not much differences among parity groups. However, cows with the body condition score of 3 and below had the lowest ostra synchronization, conception, and calving when compared to those with the body condition score of above 3. Table 2 shows the intercept of ratio and significance of the different explanatory variables when modeling the probability of calving. Now, as you can see, that cows with a body condition score of 3 and below had the lowest odds of calving at 0.02 compared to those with a body condition score of above 3, and the difference was significant at a p equals to 0 0.0042. This shows that body condition score of a cow not only affects her ability to maintain herself and conceive, but also affects her ability to maintain the pregnancy. Communal cows had good response to extra synchronization, acceptable conception and low calving was obtained in this study. Factors such as body condition, parity, frame size, breed, and district influenced Ustra's response, conception, and calving. Small framed cows had the highest conception and calving. However, only body conditions were significantly affected calving percentages. Although many type cattle had the low response to Ustra synchronization, they had better conception and calving compared to other breeds under communal conditions in an ART program. Recommendations. It is recommended that assisted reproductive technologies can therefore be successfully applied in organized communal and emerging sectors to introduce superior genetic materials. 
It is well known that genetic improvement can improve production only up to limits imposed by health management and nutrition. Although the reproductive efficacy of the system was determined in the current study, proper management practices and animal health would be ideal for long-term sustainability. Future studies are recommended to determine the sustainability as well as the economic efficiency of the ART system in the communal and emerging farming sectors. I would like to acknowledge TIA, ART, TUT, NRF, the Limpopo Department of Agriculture, as well as the Jim Plazino staff at the ARC. Thank you.